Greetings dear viewers welcome today's poem is Kasparo and 13 this is a poem about the relationship between the number 13 and the former world chess champion the greatest of all time Gary Kasparo number 13 is usually considered as a very unlucky number in a lot of countries and um, Gary Kasparo in his famous book Gary Kasparo on uh, Gary Kasparo gives some valid arguments as to why in his case the number 13 was not unlucky but instead it was lucky the arguments that he gives are as follows first he says that he was born in the fourth month of the year 63 so 4 plus 6 plus 3 13 next he says he was born on the 13th of april it's 13th again the number 13 there gary kasparov became the 13th world chess champion again the number 13 he became the world chess champion in the year 85 and again he says 8 plus 5 is 13 and again he says 13 is appearing uh, many times in my life so this is also uh, uh, giving a message that um, <clears throat> sometimes we do assume uh, that uh, there are going to be certain things that mm, that may be uh, unlucky or it can bring about misfortune but these are the kind of examples of great achievers which shows that it may not necessarily be true so let us get into the poem this is majorly about Kasparo and 13 let's get started let us talk about number 13 it is quite often seen as a symbol of misfortune categorized as out of tune the greatest chess player famous for his invincible stature has often taken the aid of 13 amassing accolades that are umpteen born in the fourth month of year 63 which does amount to 13 proving that it is okay to inspect what people assume to be correct born on the april 13th with a great family as sheath number 13 would not let him go instead it would aid him grow number 13 would spin another dice to the man who is the epitome of wise kasparo became the 13th world champion number 13 had a message to the people with such a major rebuttal uh, the full poem along with the explanation is available in the description thanks for your attention